Today, I'm going to give you my top 10 list of mangina traits. Number one, you're a mama's boy. That means you're known to be a mama's boy. People call you mama's boy. You even refer to yourself as a mama's boy. And what is a mama's boy? A mama's boy is a man who runs around behind his mom's every wish and whim. He takes her to the supermarket. He take he paints her house. He uh, runs errands. He takes her to the bank. He takes her to the doctors. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing all these things, but this is his number one duty. Okay, he puts this before all other relationships, and he has other brothers and sisters who are willing to let him take the brunt of all the work tending to Big Mama. Number two, you argue all the time with your girlfriend. Manginas always want to argue. They want to try to prove their point. They want to try to convince or reconcile or they want to reason with the feminine sex or with the softer sex. And frankly, it doesn't work. It never works. You can never win an argument with a woman Whenever you start arguing with a woman, you bring yourself down to her level. Number three, you always say you're sorry. Man, John is a sorry, and they call themselves sorry. They say, I'm sorry all the time because they have a low self-esteem, which brings me to number four. You're always seeking the validation of a female. You're always trying to make her laugh, trying to make her smile trying to make her feel comfortable. The fact of the matter is, it's not your job. Only manginas go out of the way to try to make a female feel comfortable. Number five, you're always seeking validation and acceptance. Manginas always feel the need for other people to verify them, to give them the okay to let them know that they're doing all right. This is definitely not a manly trait. Number six, you can't make a decision on your own. You're indecisive. That's right, you cannot come to a conclusion. You're wishy-washy, you're double-minded. A man who is double-minded is unstable in all his ways. Number seven, you're blown around by every wind of doctrine. What I mean by that is you follow all the trends. A mangina feels like he needs to be wearing the latest, driving the latest, and be seeing the latest movies. He feels like he needs to be in the know with every single thing. And what that is, is you're trying to chase popular trends that are defined by other people. And usually those people are people who are executives of major corporations whose job it is is to sell you things that you don't need, make you insecure about things which you should be secure about, and to give you a general sense of fear and lack. Manginas always, always chase trends. Number seven, manginas are always trying to pay for sex. They'll do this in a number of ways. They'll either buy flowers, candy, dinner, a movie, and they expect in return for these charms, these payments, as it were, they expect sex or affection in return. Number eight, manginas lose sleep whenever the girl doesn't give them any attention. So you met a girl, you like her, you think she likes you, you go on a couple dates, and if she doesn't call, or if after you've had sex, she seems to neglect you, you're losing sleep. You're not able to sleep at night, you're feeling sorry for yourself, you're worried about what she's up to. This is a sign of insecurity. Number nine, manginas always feel the need to defend women. Yes, manginas tend to be feminists, they like to defend the, the female agenda to destroy masculinity. 
they will confirm and validate all the the issues that feminists and uh, and women who have been influenced by feminists uh, blame men for. Okay, they will jump on a bandwagon of concepts like women aren't paid as much as men, which is not true. That women are inferior or treated in or that women are treated in, in an inferior way in society. It's just not true, especially not in the United States. Um, they will jump on a bandwagon that women are not given the respect that they deserve. This just is not true. In general, women are given a great deal of respect in American culture. Unless, of course, they put themselves in the positions to be disrespected. And number 10, manginas hate criticism from the opposite sex. They cannot cope with the shit tests that women give them. They fail them every time. And they find themselves sidelined by women because they show very feminine traits of insecurity. Women look for, for confidence in men. They're looking for a man to be able to take criticism, to be, uh, uh, like we say, ripped on, to be teased, and to roll with it. And as a matter of fact, um, whenever uh, guys get too serious or get too offended or butt sore, whenever women are poking fun at them, they are expressing a deep sense of insecurity. So this is my top 10 list of traits for manginas. Maybe you guys have more. Perhaps I've missed one. If I have, please put it in the comment section and uh, give me a heads up. If you like this video, go and like the video. Please subscribe and share. 